heading down to Florida. All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And as you guys can tell, we probably have a little bit better audio, a lot better footage. I got the new camera. Did a little debate on Instagram whether to get the headers or a new camera. And honestly, I have to say, it was 77% headers. Everyone, everyone wanted headers. But I told myself that I need better quality. I've been filming on my phone for the last year and a half. And if you guys remember, I did buy a camera about this time last year and it was better than the phone I had then. Well, I got a new phone and now my new phone is better than that camera. So I was just recording on my phone again. So I maybe recorded on a camera for like two months and then I went right back to recording on my phone. And if you ever recorded on your phone or anything, it kinda, it slows your phone down, you run out of storage space. It's a pain to export all your files because I edit on an iPad and so I have to export everything over. So I normally have to airdrop and airdropping takes forever. So it's just been a pain and it's been aggravating. I want better quality, I want better sound. So I got a new microphone up top. As you guys can see, I've got the little, what they call a dead cat and got that up top. So hopefully a lot better sound. Went with a Canon M50 mirrorless camera. So hopefully it's a lot better picture a lot better exposure you guys can see me in dark places now I got a lot better focus on my face but today's video is going to be answering my most common questions uh, a couple weeks ago I posted on Instagram I posted on my story if you're not already following me on Instagram go ahead over and follow me it's at Aaron Cates and I post a lot of things on my stories ask me questions things like that and I posted whether you guys wanted me to do a Q&A video and you guys voted yes so then I later posted what questions would you want to be answered and I got quite a few questions and there's a couple other questions that I'm going to answer that I get asked frequently. I mean every single day I get asked these same questions. So I'm going to post this video so when people ask me those questions I can just send them straight to this video right here. Make it a little bit easier for myself because uh, nothing against you guys. I love all of you guys. I love all of the support I get. I, I wouldn't be doing a lot of this if it wasn't for the support that I get because I've been doing this for a year and a half now and if I didn't have any support, I, I honestly I still wouldn't be here. So I, I, I really appreciate you guys, I really love you guys, but I get tired of repeating myself, I get tired of being asked the same questions. So I'm recording this video for the Q&A and also to be able to send this video to people that have questions about the truck that I've already answered multiple times and I'm just tired of answering them, honestly. So we're gonna get the truck set up to do the Q&A. Just wanted to explain to y'all what's going on. We're all set now. Um, I wanted to get the whole truck in frame. And also, if you're interested in some channel merch, I've officially released the first run of the shirts. It's just got the YouTube logo, my name on the front. And then on the back, we have the truck as you see it. So, obviously, on the back, the whole truck from one of the first shoots I did after I wrapped it. And if you're interested in that, shoot me a message on Instagram at Aaron Cates and we'll go through the whole order details. I am in the process of having a website made to sell the shirts, to sell the two wheel drive Dane stickers just to kind of organize it a little bit more. I've got some more ideas coming out for shirts, but just for right now, this is what we're gonna be running and that could change in the next couple weeks, maybe next couple months. But right now, if you're just interested in a shirt, shoot me a message and I'll get you taken care of. Okay, so the questions I'm going to be reading off right now are from the Instagram story that I made asking uh, if anyone had any questions. And how I'm going to do this, and there's a mail truck coming by, so it's going to mess my audio all up. Alright, so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to read off the question, who asked it. So in the future, if you guys like these types of videos, I'll post them on my story again, have you guys send in a bunch of questions. 
and I'm gonna read out your Instagram name. Uh, I might butcher it because I mean it could be hard it could could not. So it all depends on how your name is. I might butcher it. I might not. But I'm gonna read out the questions that you asked me and answer them the best I can at least. And that's how we're gonna do it. So if you guys like these videos, drop a comment down below. Let me know. And we'll do one every couple months, every couple weeks. Depends on how you guys like it or not. So N Coleman one at uh, uh, his response to my story was she's a beauty. Well. Thank you, uh, N. Coleman. I've spent a lot of time, spent a lot of money making this truck the way it is. So I really appreciate that you like the truck. And all I can say is if you're not already, subscribe to the channel and follow the build because it's going to get a lot better. And then Sith Lud Rado. Sith Lud Rado asked me a lot of questions, so I'm just going to read out the questions he asked me. This damn mail truck. Restart. Why haven't you started your own custom headlight page? I actually did start my own custom headlight page. It was at AM Customs. It was on Instagram. It was on Facebook. And I built headlights and I used that page to show them off. But I deleted the account because I kind of got tired of being asked the same questions. Um, probably 10 to 15 messages a day were people asking me for quotes on headlights. And I would have to go through and look up their headlights, look up how much it was going to cost to get the halo kits, and all these different things. And I would, I would spend like 45 minutes researching this stuff just for them to be like, okay, I'll hit you up and never hear from them again. So I, would, I was spending like probably, let's say an hour for each person a day. So I was spending like 10 hours a day researching headlights for people that weren't buying them. And then I would get the person that would just message me and already have the money ready and that was like the best thing is that they they already knew what they wanted they knew how much it was going to cost them and they, they didn't come to me until they were ready to buy and like i understand if you're wanting to get a quote and you are going to come back a couple weeks later and buy it because i did have a couple people like that but majority of the people they would get a quote from me and they would expect it to be almost free like you look up a set of headlights say amazon headlights that are eighty dollars and they expect the headlight build to be eighty dollars. Like that, they're expecting it to be nothing. And honestly, it, it's not. It's not that way. When, when you build headlights, it it costs money and it takes time. It takes me like I think these took like five hours to build. Like that's five hours of time that I have to do. And when I charge people, I don't charge people barely any labor. I charge almost like a quarter of what most headlight companies charge just because I, I know people don't want to spend that much money on headlights and I would rather get the business rather than someone else that way I mean I can make the money and not someone else but that's why I haven't started my own page I had one and I deleted it because I was trying to ask the same questions every single day and he said have you ever considered putting a train horn on your truck yes it is it is in the plans I, I want to go with horn blasters I want to get one the door the spare tire was because if you guys don't know, I took the spare tire out like two years ago because, I mean, I'm on 37s and the spare tire was like a 30 inch tire. It's not going to do me any good. So I took it out. So yes, I want to get train horns and yes, I want to get the spare tire kit from Horn Blasters. And he said, can Six Lud have a shout out on your channel? Yes, of course. Six Lud Rado created the outro for this channel. Um, he's a good friend of mine on Instagram. And if you guys aren't already following him, you should definitely go follow Sith Rado. He's got a very, very nice crew cab tool drive Silverado. It's got a six inch lift on it and 35s and 20 by 12s. And it's a really nice truck, always has clean pictures, and he's just a great guy in general. So yeah, there's a shout out Sith Lug. And he said, who do you think has the best cat eye on YouTube or Instagram? Okay, well, I mean, obviously if, I, if I'm gonna say YouTube, I'm gonna flatter myself, I'm gonna say me, I love this truck. And honestly, I know what all's done to it, and I know how clean it is, how well taken care of it is. So, on YouTube, I'm gonna say, hands down, my truck. And then up next, we got it's Ham, and we got BTG Performance Bowtie Die 97. Uh, those are about the only two cat eyes that I really know on YouTube that I can just think of off the top of my head. Uh, we got, I think Tyler Fox's truck is a GMC, so he's kind of out of it. But I'm going to say it, it's Ham, BTG Performance, and myself for the cat eyes on YouTube. On Instagram, oh, okay, I, I already know because, I mean, it's going to sound weird, but I've been like a fanboy of his truck since I got this truck, Murder Auto, and he already knows this. I think his name is John Manning. 
I think that's his name. I might have just completely butchered that, but Murder Auto on Instagram, hands down, is my favorite truck. I've I've loved his truck since I got this truck, and I I've sent him screenshots from like three and a half years ago when I first got this truck. I saw, found his truck on Instagram, and I wanted to build my truck like his. And I mean, I obviously I didn't build it like his, but originally I wanted it to be like his truck, and I've always loved his truck. So on Instagram, I'm gonna say Murder Auto, and then. D. Jill, uh, D. Gilson underscore said, if money wasn't an issue, what new truck would you buy and why? Uh, if money wasn't an issue, I already know exactly what truck I would buy. And it would be like a 2015-2016 Denali Duramax. I would want a crew cab, I want it black, and I want a bone stock. I mean like straight grandpa truck. I want it on stocks, I don't want anything done to it. I don't want it to have ever been ran hard, anything say some grandpa bought it to pull a camper to Wyoming or Montana or anything and it's just been driven a couple times I want a bone stock 1516 Denali Duramax and I want it in black I want a crew cab and I, I already have the whole build planned out in my head because that is my dream truck that is what I want and one day this might get sold the Ford's probably gonna get sold and I'll buy one but if money wasn't an issue, hands down, that would be the truck I would buy. Sitzlud Rado said, would you go with a bigger wheel or stick to 22s? Yes. Yes, 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 I would go bigger. I want 26s. I want 26 by 14 forces on 37s. But like the last question, if money wasn't an issue, money's a very big issue there. That's like an $8,000 setup. And I mean, if. If I was gonna spend eight grand on wheels, I would probably just save that eight grand and put it towards like a new truck or something like that because honestly, it's an 04. Um, if I were to sell it, I'd sell it for 12. So I mean, eight eight grand is three quarters of that. So yeah, I would go bigger, but I can't afford bigger. So I'm sticking with the 22s. You rather have a brand new truck but but cheap lift kit and only a six inch, or an older truck with a 12 inch fancy lift? Um. Older truck, fancy 12 inch lift, brand new truck, cheap 6 inch lift. I'm gonna go brand new truck because I mean, you did an older truck, say it's like a three, four thousand dollar truck, but you got a fancy 12 inch lift on it. I mean, I would, I would rather have the newer truck with a cheap 6 inch lift because you have a brand new truck and later on down the road you could put a fancy lift on it, but you have a more reliable truck, a probably better gas mileage truck. Uh, probably has air conditioning and so yeah, I would go with a I would go with a brand new truck on a cheap lift rather than an old truck on a really nice lift. And Sit Slug again said, Why did you go back to red tail lights? Because I wanted to do the chrome kind of tie in with the purple wrap and I had the tinted tail lights. I really debated on getting the black housing with a clear lens. But I wanted more of an OEM look with this truck. I wanted it to look almost factory, but have a wrap and have built headlights and things. So I went with the red taillights, but I did a little bit newer style with the LEDs inside it. So it looks almost factory, but it's not factory. So that's why I went with the red ones. And Six Lug again said, what made you start YouTube? So about two years ago, I'd say, because I've, I've been doing YouTube a year and a half, so I'm going to say about two, two and a half years ago, I was watching a lot of JW Montoya, a lot of Bertrand 850, a lot of Bowtie Die 97, and they were all building their trucks, and back then, JW had the white four-door GMC, uh, Bertrand had his four-door Cat Eye, and Bowtie Die 97 had the extended cab Cat Eye, just like my truck, and they are always doing the same things that I was kind of interested in doing, a little bit of performance, lift tires i mean you know the whole nine yards when you build when you build a truck basically and i got to thinking they're doing this and they're recording it i'm doing it anyways why don't i record it and then i i started looking more because my truck's two-wheel drive and i couldn't find any videos on two-wheel drive lift videos or any really anything for a two-wheel drive and i was like that's my opportunity to get my get my name out there to start helping people is I'm already going to do this stuff. Why don't I record it? That way, if someone else has questions on it, they can see my videos and help themselves out. Because I had questions like, could you use seven inch pro comp springs on a six inch rough country lift and give it an inch lift? Or could you 
put the seven inch springs in with a three inch leveling kit and have a 10 inch lift up front? Or like, could you put the max track lift springs in with a six inch rough country lift and give it a two inch level? I had all these questions, but there were no answers because there were no videos on YouTube. And that is exactly why I started. So that, that's what made me start YouTube originally was I, I couldn't find the answers. So I took it upon myself to put the answers out there. And then my girlfriend, Michaela Morgan, she said, when are you proposing to your girlfriend asking for a friend? So we've been together three and a half years and she already knows I have a ring. I plan on proposing, but I had planned on proposing when we went to Tennessee in January, but Zales was kind enough to completely screw me over and give me the ring two months late. So it didn't happen, but God has everything planned out for a reason. God knew that we weren't ready or something, something was going to happen. And that's why the ring was late. Everything happens for a reason. I strongly believe in that. So, I don't know what I'm proposing. There's the answer to that question. I'm J.DCLXVI said, how much you're into your build if it ain't personal? So it's not personal, but if I just had to guess a number right off the top of my head, and I'm gonna say close to eight grand, just into it aftermarket. I paid 11 for the truck. Um, so 11 grand into it just buying it. I bought it with 104,000 miles on it. So had really low miles and I've got money in the lift, both lifts. I have the six inch, the lift springs, the body lift. I've got money into the gears. It's got 456 gears. It's got rock lights all the way around. I've replaced almost everything under the hood. It's got new intake gaskets, new knock sensors, new spark plugs, new spark plug wires, all new belts, all new pulleys, new water pump, um, there's, I've done a lot to it mechanically. It's not all new brakes, all new rotors, all new brake lines. Uh, I, I've done a lot mechanically to this truck. So I'm going to say around eight grand I've put into it e easily eight grand, uh, rack and pinions, ball joints, control arms. Yeah. It, it's got a lot, a lot into it. So no, it's not personal, but in total with buying the truck, I'm going to say close to 20 K. Close to 20k in that range is how much is in this truck, and I mean I would trust to jump in it right now and drive it across the country. So I, I, I strongly I love this truck. And that that is all the questions I got off of Instagram. So now, like I said, I'm going to answer some questions that I get asked every single day. Although I have a video of a walk around on this truck, and I sort of ask the question. I link it in the description of every single post I post on Instagram but my most common question is what lift are you running I am running a six inch rough country suspension lift and I am running two inch max track lift springs you can't fit a leveling kit with the way rough country designed this kit so you have to get lift springs everyone asked me the two inch or the three inch max track springs because max track sells a three inch I went with the two inch because I was worried about it being too tight to get a three inch in there. And I was right. If you put a three inch on there, I'm sure you can get away with it, but your upper control arm is going to bottom out a lot. And that could be dangerous. One, you might not be able to keep an alignment. Two, uh, it, with it bottoming out a lot, not only is it going to wear out your ball joint very, very fast, but it could also cause that upper ball joint to break and you could wreck, you could kill yourself kill your friends, you can kill your family, you can kill someone else's friends or family. It's not worth it. So I went with a two inch lift spring and I still have decent angles. Uh, it's a, rides a little rough. It's like a leveling kit, but it stays in alignment. I still have space in between my bump stops and my upper control on bottom, bottoming out. Um, and I have the three inch zone body lift. That is all that is on this truck. And it's on 37s and 22 by 14s. It is NorCal bumpers are trimmed and it clears. That is my most most common question and the next question is although I, I don't understand it what color is your truck <laughs> purple it is a matte purple from vivid the color is called ghost that is also in the description of every post i post on instagram i have i have a build list on instagram if you read the description there is a list that goes down i start out with the lift and i go to gears and i go to lighting and headlights and every single thing is there and if you just took the second to read it you wouldn't have to message me now if you if you message me like i've got a couple of people that i've helped talk through putting in the lift kit themselves they message me and they have got questions how do you do this and how do you do that 
that's perfectly fine shoot me a message but if you're gonna ask me about a lift like what lifts in it what wrap is on it I have a video on it I have videos doing it it's in the description so I'm just gonna send you to this video because I'm tired of answering the questions and I don't want to sound like a, a jerk or anything like that but I, I answer the same question probably six seven times a day and now after doing that for probably six seven months it's kind of gotten old and I, I understand why a lot of people get frustrated now so those are the most two common questions what wrap is that and what lift are you running and like I said guys I don't want to sound like a jerk because I, I feel really bad saying that that I'm tired of getting asked that question and I don't want it to come off that way that I'm mad at you guys or anything like that like I 100% love you guys I love all the support that I get I love every every single thing about you guys but that is just the one question that I get tired of being asked the same thing over and over again what is that I ran over a massive spider <laughs> you see that right thing is gross looking but that is my most common question so I don't want to I don't want to sound like an asshole or anything like that and I don't normally cuss on this channel but I, I really I feel bad saying it out loud that I'm tired of being asked that question so that's why I made this this video so you guys can come for any commonly asked questions or anything like that and like I said, if you have questions, don't be afraid to message me because of this video. I'm probably going to take a lot of this out because I don't want to sound like a jerk. But, I mean, I, you guys have to see where I'm coming from. I ask the same questions every single day. If you don't ask the same thing every day, you're probably a little bit tired of it yourself. But thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said, if you want to see more Q&A videos, definitely drop a comment down below. And I can do this once every couple weeks, once a month, whatever you guys would like. If you'd like Q&As every couple weeks, just let me know. Drop a comment down and let me know if you guys like this or not. Make sure to hit that like button. It lets YouTube know that you guys like my videos and recommend more of them to everyone else. We just hit 1,700 subscribers, guys, and I can't thank you enough for that. This channel is growing, and it's such a great feeling. Like I said, if you want a shirt, shoot me a message on Instagram. It's at Aaron Gates. So I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.